Hey everybody, it's Miss Bright 1986 and as you can see I got my hair braided <laughs> and now I sound like this because have you ever felt like you've worked like 60 hours and it's only Tuesday? <laughs> That's what I feel like. I'm tired. I guess I slept wrong and my body just went all crazy and my neck hurts plus this this hair we're gonna get into this okay um I got my hair braided so my hair is braided and these are called tree braids. I didn't even know what tree braids were. Like the last time she did my, the, sty the stylist did my kinky twists. She was like, oh, you should try tree braids. They're really easy and they're really quick. I was like, oh, I didn't know what they were. If you don't know what a tree braid is, let me see if I can grab one and kind of show you. like the braid has a braid and then there's the loose part of hair coming out of it I don't know how she does that but there's a loose piece of hair coming out of it so that it looks more um I don't even know how to do this. <laughs> it's crazy right now. You know when you first get your hair braided and it's just so like, it's so stiff, like it's so stiff and you're like, it hurts and you're like, I don't know, you don't even know how to, um, as you can see, I don't even know how to put the hair back. Okay. I guess that'll work. <sighs> and my nose. Um. So this is what this is. This is a deep wave hair. Um, she said it was human when I picked it up and looked at it. It's a human and synthetic mix, which I mean, I don't really care. It was about $14 a pack. I had to get 14 inch. Um, I'm glad I didn't get 10 or 12 inch because my hair is about as long as this hair, like up at the top. So, um, this color is a four. It was so weird going in the beauty supply store and buying, like, buying hair. Like, I used to go into the beauty supply store and get a high because of all the weave. I'd be like, <gasps> you know, I'd be so excited, like, waiting for everything. Like, I mean, just looking at everything. And when I went in this time, I was just kind of frustrated because I couldn't find the right hair. And I was like, how many inches does it need to be? How many packs? I only needed two packs of hair, by the way. And it took her four hours, roughly, four hours, roughly, to braid it. Um, it's a lot of hair. Um, I like it. I mean, it's cool. It, hopefully it's really easy to take out. Um, I'm not taking this crap out. I'm going to go back to her and she's going to take it out. I love braids because I experience a tremendous amount of hair growth when I have my hair braided. And I always go back to this girl because even though it kind of looks like it, she doesn't grab like every single bit of your edges. So it's not like tugging and pulling and you're like, you know, you've got no hair, like the hair's coming out of your follicle. I keep moving the, I keep moving the computer. Sorry. So I like it. One of my coworkers was like, he has like a, he has a little crush on me and he was like, you look like a broke down T and Tamara, but then he turned around and said he wanted to marry me. So, <laughs> but I like the, um, the wavy curly look. It's nice. It's like, it's almost like maybe I can pretend that I'm natural maybe for a couple months. That's how I felt with the kinky twist. I was like, Oh, I'm natural. Yeah, no, I'm not, but I can pretend right. Um, the, it, it's, I don't know it's just it's I miss my hair already and this is gonna be this can be weird because I miss my own hair I miss running my fingers through my own hair and 
you know, but I like it. It's nice. You know, it's a nice style. I can put it up. She said we can do an updo. I can come back and get it, you know, roller set and everything. And, um, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I have some Mac stuff to show you guys. Um, I returned the Mac Mineralized Foundation and I also returned the concealer and I bought three things in return. They're still in the package. Well, this is what the packaging looks like in case anyone cares. Mac packaging all looks the same, so why would you even want to see it? But I got the Mac Pro Longwear SPF 10 foundation in NC42. And if you obviously it looks darker than my skin. And this, the, you know, usually you have to worry about looking ashy and stuff like that with your foundations. But this kind of scared me because I'm like, oh gosh, I thought the mineralized, foundi uh, mineralized foundation made me look orange. I, um, excuse me, I have the sniffles. <laughs> I hope I'm not getting sick. That would be horrible. I've not been sick for like years, but I, um, I like this and I went to the I went to the girl um, who the girl who when I buy things from I never return because she's perfect she knows everything um, she was really nice we chatted a bit you know just about you know stiff and um, she showed me how to apply it and she gave me some tips she told me that it's best to apply foundation in the center and then blend it out I said interesting and um, she had some reasoning for that, but I can't remember it right now. <laughs> Probably, I think she said something about we tend to have more hair on our face, on the sides, and you don't want the foundation to kind of catch onto that hair and just look really, because I know I have hair right across here, here even sometimes, and maybe really lightly right here. I've got hair, and on my cheeks. I'm a hairy, I'm a hairy broad. <laughs> But, um, I like the way that this foundation applies. Um, I went out, I think I showed this in another video, or I may have forgotten, because I had to record, re-record my videos, the one I'm about to upload right now, because the effing sound was not working. I was like, oh, God. So I was so mad. I had a video, and it was when I first got my hair done at the salon, like, it was fresh and beautiful, and I was like, I'm going to do a video, and the sound was like off so this is the equal tools brush that I bought it's got a bamboo handle and um, this is for foundation I have never used a foundation brush before to apply um, my foundation I have always used this brush I feel like it just um, I don't know, it applies the product very evenly, and I don't know, it just I just love it. It just catches the product really well, and it just, it buffs it into your face. I love it. If you want to paint your face, use this. And, um, well, depending on how I feel, depending on what type of coverage that I want, um, if I just want really light coverage, I'll probably use this. If I want more heavy coverage, I might use this. Um, the Mac lady was like, you don't even need foundation. You don't need makeup. Do you want to look at a tinted moisturizer? I'm like, no, I want foundation. And people will look, you know, everyone's different. You, you might look at someone and be like, oh, your skin is so beautiful. Okay. My skin is not perfect. I'm breaking out right there. <laughs> I'm breaking out right here. Everything else is pretty smooth, but... You know, they, when you go to makeup counters, sometimes they're like, oh, I don't know if they get paid to tell you that your skin is beautiful, but, and my circles. Now, I will get into the circles in a minute, because my circles actually look a lot, don't look as bad as they do in my other videos that I do at night after work. <sighs> work is, work is just so tiring, you know? But, um... The concealer that she gave me is the matching concealer, the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in 
NW35. Now the reason why she did not give me the concealer in the same shade as my skin is because it tends to give a white cast under the eye and you look like, um, you have raccoon eye, you just look, I mean is that the word raccoon eye? I don't know, you just look creepy. So um, that's another tip that everybody can, you know, we tend to want to lighten under the eye but we really need to warm it up and so she gave me this brown which is, you know, this is not my color. This is, this is a, really, this is pretty. It's a deep brown color. Maybe my sister might be able to wear that, but it's, it has more of a reddish tone maybe to it or peach tone. And that goes under the eye and it, it warms under it and it, it does do a good job of concealing the under eye circles. So I have to give it to her. This was brilliant. When she pulled this out, I was like, this is dark. How is this going to work? It works. So keep that in mind when you get a concealer oh and it lasts you know it, it lasts longer this one does not budge this one does not slide around under my eye which I like the pro long wear is supposed to be transfer resistant my face gets a bit oily so I had to pick up these usually I just let my face get oily but um, I decided to pick these up they were on sale at Target for four dollars and they are gangsta if you if you don't know what these are they're little sheets and you apply them to your face and they take the oil off so my skin gets a bit oily and um, these are good for that you can find other alternatives probably I, I don't think you can find a cheaper alternative trust me I've looked four dollars isn't bad for 50 sheets now the foundation was 30 and the concealer The concealer was sixteen fifty. So the foundation, yeah, the foundation was twenty nine fifty. The concealer was thirty. I mean, yeah, twenty nine fifty thirty whatever. What I also bought to set my foundation. This is like apparently Max like go to product. It's the Mineralize um, Skin Finish Natural in medium dark. It has a slight perfume smell. It looks kind of beigey. It's very, very sheer. It's got like a million minerals in it, and it just gives a really nice finish to your foundation. Now, I've been told that the Pro Longwear does not need to be set, but um, I dust this over my face, and I really like the finish that it gave. And my, I noticed that throughout the day, my face did get less oily. I don't know if it was because of the foundation or if it was because of the powder because I will probably always use these two together but it you know it looks just like a baked powder but seriously this is supposed to be like the makeup artists dream product everybody wants this everybody uses it I like it I like the packaging it doesn't have a mirror, so you can tell that it really is just for setting. It's not for, like, touch-up. I guess that you could use it for touch-up, you know, if you want light coverage. But I'm guessing not, because there's no mirror. And, oh, when I set my powder, I use a big brush like this and just go. I got this big brush from, like, Walmart. All my brushes are so cheap. And if I'm just using my, I don't know where it is, but my Studio Fix powder, which is like a powder foundation, I use this. A lot of people use this e.l.f. brush for foundation. This was like $3, but I use it too for powder, and I just, you know, really buff in the powder. It gives you a really nice matte finish. But um, I guess that's all I have to tell you guys. Sorry I'm not so upbeat in this video. I just... I don't know somebody made me well nobody can make you sad but just a combination of being tired and somebody just kind of taking you off oh just makes you in that mood so I did a video to cheer myself up so hopefully I feel better after this and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and there's more to come um, enjoy the rest of your week thanks for tuning in